big beautiful world called planet Earth. I feel that it's only right to talk about this because there are certain times in life where things don't seem as real as they are, you know, let's say it was about a year ago or a month ago or six months ago or um, however long ago. Some things just don't feel real until you get a lot closer to that specific thing in your life that you want to be real. And it's not just one specific thing. It could be um, a friendship that's been around for 20 years. It could be a friendship that's been around for 30 years. It could be a friendship that's been around for 40 years or even 5 years or 10 years. Um, it could be a relationship that you've been in for a year or 5 years or 10 years or 15 years or 20 years or however long. It could be going to a concert that you really... Uh, really want to go and see. It could be about throwing a, a party for a specific age that you're turning. It could be, um, it could be a YouTube convention. It could be a Comic-Con. It could be anything. When you get to a certain point and in any situation, whatever it is, there's a time that you think, hey, we're getting closer to that day. And we're getting closer and closer with each passing new day. And it doesn't become a reality until you're about a month out. Or you're about a couple weeks out. Or you're about a week out. Or you're about, um, let's say, three weeks out. Now, I realize that we're not quite a month out yet. But we are getting closer and closer. Which makes this my point in this vlog is that... Reality is going to start setting in for me now because it's a, it's crunch time now for me personally to to get my suitcase and get my um, get everything ready that I need to get ready for next month and that includes you know getting tickets to go to Disneyland or getting um, uh, figure finding out your uh, feature creators that you're going to meet and all of that stuff and going to figuring out you know panels that you might want to or uh, Q and A panels or parties that you might want to go to at that specific event. And it's not just this event. It could be it could be a concert like going to see Taylor Swift or going to see uh, to see any concert basically, or it could be to go see a comedy show. As that day gets closer and closer, you start realizing, hey, I need to start figuring things out and making sure that I have all my all my things in line. Whether it's the clothes that I'm going to be wearing every single day that I'm there, whether it's the how I'm going to uh, film during the, the trip, what we're going to do at Disneyland, what we're going to do um, at, this, at a concert or any type of event. Now, I'm not saying that um, that that I need to start panicking because that probably won't happen in, until about two or three weeks from now. But I'm just saying that we're getting closer and closer to that that date of June 22nd, which is almost a month away. And there's so much stuff left to do. There's like, there's, there's stuff that I need to go and get new clothes and new, uh, like I mentioned before, there's, you know, going to get a haircut um, making sure everything, everything in my room is cleaned up, you know, cutting my fingernails, cutting my toenails, shaving my face, you know, just looking presentable when I meet these featured creators next month, because this next month could go, it, it will fly by. And I already know my, uh, meet and greet match week. I found that out yesterday. And I got four. I'm not going to say exactly who they are. You're just going to have to wait and see um, when we get there. But there are four of the 15 that I had on my list that I'm going to be able to go get a photo or do something along those lines. Now, that's not the only thing that I plan on doing, by the way. There are other things I want to do that over the course of the thing, like maybe go to... Um, to to see someone perform in like a concert at the arena that's right nearby or going to like I said a Q&A panel maybe go to some parties maybe film some um, uh, collabs while I'm there whether it's with the you know feature creators whether it's someone that's not as well known like myself 
Um, or maybe they are a little bit well known, but not completely well known. Um, we're just going to have to wait and see what all this stuff happens over the next 33 days. Because that's how that's how many days is between now and this convention. Now, with that being said, you know, Disneyland is fun to do on its own. I mean, there's so many amazing rides that you can go on. There's the, the st all the Star Wars rides, which are three of them now. There's the, the I don't know if the Matterhorn's going to be open just yet. By the time we get there, um, there's Indiana Jones ride. There's the um, there's the new Two Town area that just opened up a couple months ago. That could be interesting to do. There's um, what other rides? The Jungle Cruise. That could be something that would be fun to do. You know, there's just a bunch of rides. Um, there's Space Mountain. There's Splash Mountain. Even though I don't know, I think they might have changed it by then, but we'll just have to wait and see. Um, there's the Haunted Mansion. There's all kinds of amazing things to do in Disneyland. Now, I'm not going to be able to go to California Adventure, but Disneyland is definitely in the cards. We just got all that stuff figured out today. Or, I mean, yesterday. Not today. Yesterday. So, basically... It, it's going to be, it's basically, it's becoming a reality that this event's going to be here before we know it. And I, get, I still got a lot of things to do over the course of the next 33 days to to get ready for it. Like I said, pack my bag, you know, get a haircut, make sure I'm just presentable. Because I don't want to, I don't want to go to this event and just be, you know, have long hair like I have now, even though this might not be considered long hair. And just have this completely shaved off and and make sure my room is completely cleaned up and you know there's nothing that's gonna be you know in the way um, while we're gone for the five days that we're gone um, and just just make sure I have everything prepped because that's the most important thing is have, making sure I have everything prepped now with that being said um, we got a couple more things I wanted to say really, really quick. Tomorrow I plan on going to see Fast 10, uh, or Fast X, whatever they, they want to call it. So that means tonight or sometime today, I'm going to watch Fast 9. I have it on DVD, and uh, so I can be prepared to watch it tomorrow at 12.45. And then uh, maybe I really go watch it on Tuesday next week uh, with my brothers, hopefully. And then there's also another movie that's being released, or maybe just two movies that are being released next Friday, and that's Memorial Day weekend, by the way. Next next weekend is Memorial Day weekend, so I'm looking forward to that. So we've got a couple birthdays to wish um, today, so I would like to wish uh, Hannah Palmer a happy 25th birthday, and Natalie Rose, Roser Bonner a happy birthday as well. Now, there's not very many birthdays left of of tw May 2020, uh, 2023. So we'll talk more about that as we get closer and closer to that uh, stuff. So uh, be the best version of yourself that you can possibly be and don't let anyone tell you to be someone different than who you already are. And find your love story. I hope to find mine in about 33 days. Um, we'll just have to wait and see though. And... Maybe I'll meet some of my uh, uh, audience members there. Maybe someone uh, that watches my vlogs will be at this event, or maybe not. Uh, maybe at least one or two, maybe ten. I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. Anyways, uh, I will see you tomorrow with a brand new vlog. Uh, it'll, it'll be the uh, it'll be right before I go and see the movie. So we'll just have to wait and see on that. And that's it. Bye bye.